The final set of KBAs are reviewed and validated by experts in the region. Through identifying KBAs, we are able to focus on the spectrum of sites that require conservation. However, we still end up with thousands of sites worldwide. Currently, we also have major data gaps, with existing sites concentrated in areas where we have the best information, such as in Europe. Given limited funding for conservation, we need to prioritize further to identify the sites that must be safeguarded immediately to prevent the imminent extinction of species. A network of over 60 conservation NGOs, including both multinational and local organizations, have formed the Alliance for Zero Extinction, or AZE. They have begun the process of identifying the very highest priority KBAs. We refer to these as AZE sites. AZE sites hold the last remaining populations of at least one highly threatened species found nowhere else. Losing even one of these sites would lead to extinction. For example, 13 highly threatened amphibian species are found only in the Massif de la Haute site in Haiti. Most of these species are critically endangered. The conservation of this site and its species is an urgent priority. To date, AZE sites have been identified globally for mammals, birds, amphibians, conifers, and some reptiles. We can further prioritize among the remaining KBAs using information on threat and rarity. By rarity, we refer to the number of sites where a species is found. Those that are found in just a few sites are high priority. By threat, we mean extinction risk for each species as defined by IUCN. However, threats also refer to threats to the site. Sites that may be lost are high priority unless the species found within them are also found in many other sites. We examine the combination of threats and rarity in prioritizing among sites. The same methods can be used for prioritizing among candidate KBAs to fill in the most urgent data gaps first.